we came here hoping to see some fish, but we were told the alligator gar are three feet. That's longer than the visibility. Yeah, <gasps> There's like gars in here. They're in pelvis like steak. They're not swordfish, they're gars. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Have you seen anything? <laughs> yeah. Uh. I saw peanut butter. Some type of snake over there. Let's see if I can power some peanut He had his head above the water right there. He ducked down. Oh, I'll go down and see if I can find him. Um, I'm pretty sure it's not poisonous. I'm pretty sure it's not poisonous. It's time to stick your hand in a hole and hope it's not a snapping turtle. Oh shit. What the heck was that? What? I know something just like touched my butt. I don't know what it was. Uncle Joe, is that you? Oh, there he is. Right there. Did he get you? <laughs> no. Okay, just so you guys know, I'm not sure if that thing's even venomous. I don't think it is, but when it went for the snap, I went for the drop. I don't want none of that until I can confirm what species that is. If you guys grab snakes, make sure you know what it is or whose it is, because you're either gonna get a beating or a biting. We're just gonna bring those super leather gloves for picking up bitey, 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 bitey things. There. He's right next to Neo again. If he has red eyes, then we're good to go. I'm not sure about that whole red eyes theory because every time I watch movies and and read things and comic books and the Bible and, and anything else, normally if it has red eyes, that's a sign that you're going to die. Matthew's told me, if it has red eyes, you're okay, Dad. Okay. I don't feel okay. Let me check my pulse. Wait a minute. Who's this guy standing above me in the clouds? That looks pretty water snaky. He doesn't have a diamond head. <laughs> Maybe I should just go face to face and ask him. Are you a copperhead? My head! <laughs> I just looked down. There's a water snake looking at Matthew's snake in the water. Did you confirm that he wasn't a copperhead finally? Your your manhood almost just confirmed he wasn't a copperhead. Oh, good, great to know. He would have got slapped to death. I mean, <laughs> there's no chance. <laughs> I'll show him red eyes. <laughs> you mean you mean a pink eye? Yeah. The day's moving along. It's about noon. The Pernalis River is starting to wake up. People are strolling in. We're gonna head down a little more, and then we're gonna go see. Uh, maybe go check out some new spots. Hey guys, we get some serious snake protection gear. You want to see snake protection? Here it is. Hell yeah, look at that. My feet are so protected. Yeah, that's exactly what you want. <laughs> I think we just found us a lesser earless lizard. You know, he... <laughs> he just wagged his tail like a dog and ran away. I don't know if that's the equivalent of lizard finger. Like, mm, out of here, punk. Splinter. Yum, yum. He thought you were attractive. He was just saying hello. <sighs> he knows now. He knows we're stalking him. I don't know if that's a greater earless lizard or lesser earless lizard, but he's less interested in us and moving away at a greater speed that we can keep up with on the camera. At least keeping it focused, that is. All right, let's go find some more critters. I like critters. They taste so good. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Nothing like some tasty lizard beef. We mix it with that pudding over there they call a river. That's why they're saying to keep your nose and ears out. Oh, there's another one right there. A little vine thing in front of us. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's got orange underneath it. Oh, this guy's got more zoom than Mazda. Can't keep up with him. We're gonna get one of these things. There's a lizard up there so big I thought it was a small scaly squirrel. He got onto the tree, or into the tree. There's a crack down here. Yeah, he's he's definitely in a good spot, man. He's He was a meaty lizard. Yeah. He was the lizard of your dreams, ladies. You're not alone, though. He was also the lizard of my dreams. <laughs> Get back here. How big was he? Um, 12 inches. 11, 11, probably 11 inch spiny. Colorful? Uh, he's got, he had a good pattern on him. Or like, I think he ran down here. The leaves are so deep, you could step on a hundred rattlesnakes and not notice. 
We're pretty big on show and tell, but I'm doing a lot more telling than I am showing because everything is outrunning me. I promise you though, we're gonna have a good day or a good couple of days. Oh man, my back. If I knew anything about Texas, I would have moved here a long time ago. What is that? Sounds like a rat or a squirrel in the bushes. Making more rats or squirrels to encounter in the bushes. Neil, I watched recent into there. Hit, <laughs> bought two cop heads. Neil was like, hmm, what was in here? Oh, he's gonna come out with a melted hand because he found the wrong snake. Or he's gonna come out with a whole man. It's a very rare species of human being, the long grass pervert in their native environment. Hey. We're going that way. Hopefully finding something. Maybe we'll find a river. What are you doing, Rockstar? Right, water. You just keep shaking your head. This ain't a metal concert. All right, we just strolled up on a creek that's about three feet deep um, at the most. It feeds into the Pernellis River over there. We're gonna get down there. Hope something different will be in there because that's got gar in it. Those will just chew everything up. Salamander, good luck. I'm hoping. This is a big, beautiful place, let me tell you. Where's the GoPro? It's definitely true. What? <laughs> Everything's bigger in Texas. Except me. We shrank Texas a little bit by moving here. <laughs> I just need to lift more. I need to lift more Texas, and then I'll be as big as everything else in Texas. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> okay, yeah, that may not be the best idea. Neil points his head at the ground and puts all his faith into those things that are no bigger around than my. <laughs> Neil, you're gonna lose. That's more how IQ it's points. done. Ugh. I found the fish. That cave goes back in there a bit, so I'm gonna see if I can slither in there next to the salamanders. Um, if there is any. Go crawling around in there too much. Not a lot of room. So far, we are definitely seeing a lot of nature, but we're not catching a lot of things. But I'm not sure why. Maybe it's because we're rusty and we suck. Hey, look at that thing. What oh the heck? Jeez, he's like a fun, one of those funneling spiders from Eight Lady Freaks. You remember those? What are you, like those bur? You guys hear the scenery yelling for its friends? That, that's a bird. It's a, also known as the obnoxious whistler, or the obnoxious caller. Here, you switch and I'll try to pick him up. Uh, I don't, sure. I don't know if I'd pick that up. I don't know what that is. He's probably pretty safe. <laughs> don't do it. Probably. Probably is my favorite word. Probably is also the favorite word of people who uh, visit the morgue. I'll say 50-50. So, there's a 50% chance you're gonna die here, and a 50% chance you're gonna die at the hospital. 50-50. Uh, we, we're gonna try and touch this little furry thing. He's hanging onto that blade of grass. Oh, oh. Uh, judging by how aggressive he is, I'd say that's maybe not a touching spider. Because normally they run, <laughs> that's a problem. The fact that he ain't running. Maybe it's just the display. Oh God. What do you mean it's just a display? Yeah. Uh, He's very well displayed. Uh. Maybe it's just a show. Maybe he's not brave at all. <laughs> Anytime I look at nature, bravery normally comes with teeth and a lot of hair. He's got both. Well, I mean, I guess Neil's brave. He has a lot of teeth and hair, especially the teeth part. <laughs> 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 you seen that sucker's teeth? <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it's me or my wife, but apparently some of us has some shark DNA. Gotta love that smile. 
We're gonna move his blade of grass. Last time I touched his blade of grass, he got angry. Okay, he has little butt utensils. Have you touched it? Yeah. So he's okay with you touching him, but not his, not his blade of grass. That's how everyone <laughs> in California is. Don't touch my grass. Yeah, don't, don't touch his grass. We don't have funnel web spiders in this country, do we? I do not know. We, because we could totally have brought one there here. Hopefully he doesn't turn around and bite me. Because he looks, he doesn't look, okay. Let's see, okay, he's getting kind of mad now. Let's, let's leave that alone. Now. Hello. How's it going? Good, me and the kids are just poking insects that we don't know what they are, so it's always a good idea. <laughs> that thing right there. Oh, wow. Yeah, we touched. Holy crap. We touched his butt. <laughs> this way, we were hoping to find something else, like some lizards or frogs, but, you know, insects are pretty cool, too. Well, that's a good view. Oh, yeah. We had no idea where we were going, so we decided to follow some strangers, and this is where they let us. It's fine. It's fine. This is how you make memories. Follow a stranger to a cave. Oh my god, there's like five What happens in the cave stays in the cave. Oh, those are daddy long legs? Yeah. Oh, come on. Yeah. You got some spiders over here. Oh, yeah? I think so. Are you even bigger, colorful? Just daddy long legs, I think. Oh, wow. Oh, they're dancing. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. This is one of those whatchamacallit things you're supposed to preserve. Oh, is it really? Yeah, like. I'm all the cavers, basically any any type of rock formation. I mean, most people don't listen to it, but anything that's formed naturally, that's wavy or pretty or has a different shape or stands up on its own and looks like a penis, you're supposed to protect it. <laughs> okay, got it. Huh? All right, we're out of here. On to a new destination. We're gonna follow them. The good news is none of them did bad things to us in the cave, so I'm happy. <laughs> I'm just kidding. They're gonna see this on YouTube and then they're gonna regret not doing bad things to us in the cave. Me and the boys are gonna do some lizard harnesses. Don't panic though. It just goes around the lizard's waist, cinches down on them. So that way we don't reach for them and swat them. Not to mention some of the lizards we're trying to catch, like those whip tails, they're pretty fast. They call them whip tails for a reason. It ain't just their tails that whip like whoosh, and they're gone. Okay, let's roll. He's staying just out of range of it. We'll get you next time. Bite me and then love me and then I'll love you back. <sighs> he was kind of like trying to figure out what was going on, but he pooed himself, so I gotta wipe his butt real fast. This organic teepee. Chill right there. No, no, no. I want you to chill. We can get up in this rainbow's personal space for a few minutes here. Let's, uh, let's, uh, there we go. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's look, see, and see what we got here. That is green, super green arena. No, no, don't, don't run, dude. We gotta get the blues on your arm, too. Okay, let's roly poly you over. Real nice, like, pinkish red. Lizard modeling is not an easy job, we know. The pay is good, though. You get, like, a hundred ants a day. <laughs> That's pretty close to where he was. I'm so happy. We gotta let him go, though. Give him a little good luck kiss. Alright. Wow, he's so soft! We're putting him over here into the flower garden. So, you gonna go? Okay, there you go. Beautiful and chill. He's sprinting now. Uh -oh. I'm pretty sure both him and my hands were covered with poo, so technically I just ate crap. So. <laughs> but it was Smurf crap. Yeah, but I, I can't taste it, so. But at least it was organic. Yeah. That's a pretty good find right there for us. Me and the boys, I can't, I can't even remember what kind of whip tail that it was. All, all I know is it's prairie pretty. Prairie race runner? Yeah, it, it might be a prairie race runner. Uh, I think so. Slightly different. Take like that. Oh, wow. Neil, 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 pay attention to this thing, okay? That's a genuine. That's, that's done with the knife. I put a hole through the damn thing. So you were buying that leaf? 
Yeah, I just like, oh, I wonder if a wire fire. Well, everybody else in Austin's burning leaf too. It's just a little different than that one. Or yeah. No. Oh, no. Me and the boys have been out for about seven hours. We are gonna go head down there. We found a river that's really clear or a stream, whatever it is, but there may not be no access to it for the public. So we are gonna get rolling. See you guys in a bit. Our necks are dead. <laughs> we have sunburns. That's what happens when you burn yourself to death. I put this thing on because the sun was toasting me, but now I don't even need it because there's a bridge and we're under this. So I think this is Hamilton Creek right here. You see that? This part lit up? That's, that's pretty clear. It's a lot better than where we were. I'm going to get in there and hopefully it doesn't murk up too bad because this is a slow moving river and if we murk it up then it may stay murked for, you know, half an hour. smiling again. This is really clear. Neil, try not to work it up, buddy. Whoa! <laughs> what? Oh, I can actually see. Oh, it's cold down there. It looks so good. Oh, I need to see it more. <laughs> How's it in there, Neil? It's amazing. Look at this. Look at my foot. What, you see any mark? None at all. I can't see the, your foot because of the reflection. Okay, you can see my face though. Yeah, I can see <laughs> your face. It's not pretty, but yeah, I can see it. Oh God, no, it's not. <laughs> Hey there. <laughs> you just oh. get pervy by the name. Okay. I even when you try some hot dogs. What do you mean pervy? You mean good looking. All your faces is looking at people. <laughs> okay then. Whatever you say, Pilot. He just has that magic touch. In okay. See you later. What kind of diving method is that? I can't hear sheep. I do. I think that's just her attention. Look at them all the way out there, jeez. We're gonna go ahead and head down there somewhere. Just a couple of fishies and tadpoles. Yeah, but there's a lot more plant life over here. tastes good like mineral water or something it's pretty tasty i'm gonna go back that way to the boys and we'll give you some food in a minute <laughs> This is definitely a seasonal flow and it's high right now because there's a gate to keep cattle from crossing through the river. Whoever owns this, whether it's government or, or private, they didn't put up any no trespassing signs or nothing crazy. So they're not ultra crazy controlling people, but I get the impression there wasn't much here to protect during parts of the year that I think this will get down just a little teeny stream. We're just have we just happen to be in a boon is really full right now. Maybe you could snake stick a hole, I don't know. 
Snake sticking. That's where you and your brother came from. Damn. We need to get Like when you fell down right now, I just had a flashback of Andacon and the people in the water. That snake's brother just retaliated. That's a baby conda. You gonna see if you can find him down His there. His dad's from Wakanda. He'll mess you up, dude. Parking, activate. Not even, not even. I, 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 as the whiptail is right there, Neo goes, and it's gone. Like he literally inhaled and the whiptail evaporated. I literally just stopped my hand because I was like, yeah, I already see him all like 20 feet to the left of me looking at me already. He's over there. It's not here anymore. If there was ever a lizard that resembled the flash, it's those whiptails.